Okay, this is for you swimmers out there or paddlers who have had a shoulder injury or shoulder surgery and you're back in the water and this is to help you with drills to help you improve the stability and the strength and the catch position when you go in the water and pull through. So some people when they've had shoulder surgery like myself or shoulder injuries, when you go through the water and you pull through, there's a little bit of weakness there and so you can't get the strength through the stroke. Now, a lot of that can come down to stability through the shoulder. You just need to work on some conditioning and strengthening in those positions to help you when it becomes automatic in the water. So the first thing I want you to work on is actually the strength in that position lifting up. Okay, we'll work on the one pushing down first, but the lifting up is, the, is a really important one and a nice one to start with. So this assumes that you've got the range above here and you've worked on your mobility stuff. And so you can get that position when you're in the water, but for here, what we want to make sure is, have you got enough strength to keep your arm in that position? So when you go through in that position, you're not dropping down. You, you, you've got enough ability to keep it up here. So what I like people working on is not 180 degrees for this one. I like them putting out around about 150. So if you think about sort of where the top part is, go about 30 degrees out. In that position, what I suggest you do is have your hand up for external rotation, okay, rather than down. So up in this position, and then put your head down on your hand and try and lift your whole arm and your hand up as high as you can until you sort of feel like you just can't go any further. Now this position here, you're trying for the highest height you can without bending your elbow, so keep a straight elbow because we're focusing on here, we're not focusing on the elbow, focusing on the shoulder. Highest you can and holding it for at least 10 seconds. You only need a 10 second hold isometric with this one and then down, relax, okay? The crucial thing is making sure that your shoulder blade doesn't move or shift when you do this. So when you raise your arm, you don't wanna be sort of doing this sort of thing with your shoulder to try and compensate through your upper trap. So make sure when you lift your arm, pull that shoulder blade sort of back and down. So you're using muscles around the back of the shoulder blade to act as like an anchor. Think of like a, a crane that puts out its struts to put weight down to stabilize. You're thinking about this part being the struts and pulling that back, holding it down. So you're, you're using just as much of the back of the shoulder as you are the top and through the arm, okay? Once you get there, you're gonna go, how high can I go? Because this is trying to improve your strength in the top part of this range. So you are stronger when you go about to go into the water. So if you imagine when you're coming through and you're coming through in this position, you are, you've, you've got experience of being strong there and the endurance part helps you keep up there for a longer period of time, okay? So rather than sort of cruising down. So that's a really nice one to work on. Do that first. 10 seconds, sets of 10 I would go for, maybe up to sets of 20, depending on your conditioning. Now, second thing's in a very similar position. This is to help you with your power when you catch through the water. So what I want you doing is pushing this now into 180 degrees. Now, I've got a foam pad here because it's nice to push into, it's a bit bouncy, so I've got some resistance to push into, which gives me some strengthening sort of push back. Okay, it's like a weight, if you like. Have that at almost the 180 degrees. Okay, now this position, your hand is down like you're gonna catch through the water. Of course, you're gonna be in that position, but when you go through the water, you're there. So from that position there, what I want you to do is you're gonna push down. Now, a lot of people, when they push down, they feel a bit of weakness or almost pain in the shoulder if they push too hard because what tends to happen is they push and if the shoulder's weak, they'll tend to move their shoulder internally like that, okay? So I want you to try and again, the same sort of drill, Keep the shoulder, if you watch me, keep the shoulder like that. All right, so you're sort of using your serratus and scooped it a bit. Now, from that position there, your elbow's got to stay straight. Remember, you don't bend it until you hit the water or through the water. This position here, I want you to, again, you can have your head down, but I'll show you with my head up at the moment. If you look at the hand, you're going to push the hand down, but I want you to use your lat here a little bit to pull back. So there's a bit of drag back on that which stabilizes you here, okay? So you're gonna use a little bit of stability here. Then you've got to slowly wind this up and push your hand down as hard as you can. But I want you to think about pushing your hand down 
from the whole arm, okay? Almost like from here is where you're pushing the hand down from, not pushing it down here. Because if you just focus on the hand, you're gonna just let this go here. So think of my hand as an extension of my shoulder, and I'm gonna push down with my shoulder, and you'll get a much stronger pull through there. And try and think about all of this pushing down, okay, and being stable here. Now just watch that you don't have any pains kicking in here, okay? So if you've got pain kicking in here, it's not stable enough. So what you might want to work on is just get your positioning right. Every now and again, you've got to shake it out, get the positioning right, and then try again. Maybe you're pushing too hard if you're feeling pain here. So you really want this sort of pain-free. You get the spot where you can find it, and then push down with the whole arm. Again, it's a 10-second isometric hold, and that sort of roughly 180 degrees positioning, hard as you can, and winding it up without any pain, and then release. You might find it starts off a little bit sort of unstable feeling. If you're like, oh, it doesn't feel quite right. Once you get that warmed up and you get your brain firing nearly through the arm and you're working out how do I do this carefully, you may find by the eighth or ninth one, you're getting actually a bit more power and a bit less sort of symptoms here, like feel stronger and more stable because you're just recruiting muscles correctly. So just be careful you don't overcook it in the first few sort of sets because you want to get to that 10 sets where you really get some changes through there. So that's a really important one to do, and that's that overhead stability and strength when you get in the water to then power down and through and not have your elbow sort of, or shoulder doing this sort of thing, okay? So a really important one. The last thing I want you to work on is obviously when you come through the water, you're gonna do a little bit of internal rotation. So the best thing to do You've probably done external internal rotation around various degrees below shoulder height. Now you've got to go above shoulder height. So this is also only for people who have lost their impingement. So they don't have the impingement up here, but they're just lacking power coming through. So what I suggest you do is have two bands. Well, you might start with one depending on your strength, but you'll find that internal rotation strength up here, you'll need two bands just to get enough power through. Now I've got a blue and a green, so quite high level stuff. And again, this is not really for people who are in you know, acute rehab. This is down the track where you're returning to sport. So the band strength can be a little bit heavier. Maybe start with one, Matt, on the second one. Put that in your hand like that. Wrap it in. Now, you're gonna do internal rotation at what I call 135 degrees. So go into a kneeling position, have the band, if this is my left arm, off to the left hand side. Okay, so you gotta think, okay, there's 90 degrees, right? I wanna be up another 45 degrees, so I'm gonna go up into here, okay? And then from there, then I'm gonna do my internal rotation. All right, so I'm trying to have it, so the band pulls me back into external rotation, okay, so there's a load back there, and then I power through there. You'll probably find that the hardest part is actually the rollback, the eccentric part is where you have to control it, and then you power through not too, not too hard. Just be careful that you don't go too far back with the rotation. The other thing too is when you pull through, the tendency to drop your elbow starts increasing. So you think, okay, I've got to keep my elbow up. And if you look in a mirror sort of in front of you, it's quite helpful. You think, okay, there's 90, there's 135, because it's halfway between 180 and then you're pulling through in that position. So you let it go back, and when it goes back, don't straighten your elbow, all right? Let it roll back that way, and then pull through there. So you can do this reasonably quick, okay? So you're stable here, and then drive. The whole idea is to get your internal rotator strength up, okay? So that component is improved, so when you go through a pattern of movement in the water and you pull through, that is you know, you've got that increased strength to do the pattern of movement correctly, okay? So that would be my little three you could start working on. If you're sort of, you've had your shoulder injury or shoulder surgery, you're recovering okay, you're back in the water, but you still notice there's a little lack of power there. Maybe you notice when you come through, sort of dives in the water and you can't pull through very well. I see you start working on those three, start improving all those little components and see if that starts improving your catch in the water and your drag over time.